We are back on some Akuma MC Skyblock with technically a filler season. Basically, they made a season that is going to be cranked the hell up so that we can just have a lot of fun in preparation for a big release coming, I believe, later this year. I'm not 100% sure when, but it's going to be insane. I'm starting on my one block island just so that I have plenty of room to work with. I actually don't think I can afford anything, can I? Can I? Let's just grab like a few stacks of that, and I'm just going to build a little bit of an island just so I have something. Oh, but before I do that, I do want to mention, if you guys hop on the server, all the information down in the description, make sure you do slash kit carnage it's a one-time uh, use kit that you get for this season it gives you a normal pet egg a dark soul consumable which kills five mobs per hit i'm gonna be saving mine until i get some absolutely insane spawners down the line on top of that there is also an epic airdrop but i'm gonna be saving these for later on top of uh, a few other openables that i did get uh while just being on the server and from my kits which i went ahead and already claimed okay so i got a little bit of a platform down nothing too crazy i'm i did store up my starter chest so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and actually empty the stuff out of here and i'm gonna put it into there because it's gonna be useful later on unfortunately i'm gonna have to spend a little bit more money because it's not gonna grow unless i oh that's that's not gonna work yeah that's can i do 16 i can do five i can do five of them that'll get us started on our quest which is how you should start every season of Akuma Skyblock, because you get a lot of really great rewards, including $7,500. So I got reimbursed for the money I just spent. So the next thing we gotta do is slash IS perks for a free $10,000. We just had to look at it. There are some really good things in here that I definitely want to work on, although I don't know if the progress on this is turned up or not. That's something I gotta figure out, but that's for later. Then all I'm gonna do is place that down and place that down, and we'll get our little bit of a uh, little, little cobble gen right there. And I want to actually just put down a log, I guess, below it so that I don't have to worry about breaking through it. So what was my next goal exactly? I know it's to break cobble. 16 cobble, that's not too bad. I do still have to be careful. I break this ridiculously fast below me. Well, I like guess not ridiculously fast, but fast enough that if it lags, I'll end up breaking through it. Quest completed. What is next? Oh, right. I gotta mine 25 blocks from my cobble generator. But the good thing is, it does get me 20,000. You can see I'm up to $30,000 now, which is super awesome. That's gonna help us in the long run eventually. Uh, although spawners are pretty pricey, and I wanna try and get some of the really good ones. But that's okay, because I know some really good ways, I believe, if they're still... They shouldn't be changed. I know some really good ways to make some money. So we're going to be looking into that in a little bit after we open a few things, because I do want to start off with that. Well, I say start off, but I mean more so I want to go into that after we get a few quests done, which actually, I actually know how far I want to go into the quest before I start to open things. So I've got a goal. We're going to get to it. There's part of that goal done. Now I got to do sell hand. I actually don't even need the, the cobble. It really doesn't matter. So sell hand real fast. Then I got to buy something from the shop. Now, the next thing is slash keys. It wants us to go and open up some keys. Or, sorry, we can do that from here, doing slash keys. Um, do I have to actually open up a key? I guess that, it, that makes sense. It did give us some keys. I'll go ahead and open up all the keys. We might as well. And some of this stuff I'm going to go ahead and salvage. Now, my salvage all does or did reset for the season. They do every season, which is good, because sometimes you get things you don't want to sell. Our next quest is slash vote, which I have already done, but you can go ahead and do the command. You don't have to actually vote. You will see I got a vote streak of 1. 40 unclaimed rewards, huh? I got 11 wheel spins. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and spend them on here because this is a brand new season. I should have went ahead and opened up pet eggs. I forgot that that's a good thing to start on because then I get an, a pet and I can go ahead and like figure things out. Like a jam pet, which is pretty useful. I'm just gonna grab a water bucket. I'm gonna build a small little area here. Nothing too crazy. Eventually, I'll do a better farm. I'll do my big, nice farm. But I don't like to build that on stream because it's just a lot of building and... It takes some time. Obviously, though, there is FP you can do, which is fast place. Uh, I think the default is four blocks, six blocks, and 12 for legend. It's pretty damn good. I highly recommend it, although it's a little finicky at times. We got this beautiful, beautiful farm here. All I gotta do is till the land. Now, this part annoys me because the speed makes it, like, not... Not very fluent, unless you're, like, really fast at slamming that right click down. And I'm not... Harvest, 25 wheat. And I gotta kind of wait for it to go. I could obviously bone meal it up, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I did, in fact, get a wheat satchel, which is super awesome. I'm going to start off by opening up these four beautiful pet eggs and see what I get, because pets are going to be very vital for, well, every season of this server. A rare universal pet, he gives us XP gems and a skills boost. 
Now, the Keys pet is pretty good. I will keep it because it's legendary. A Money pet is also good. If I remember, or sorry, that's an XP pet. An XP pet is also pretty good. This guy's pretty good, but he's only common, so unfortunately, he's not really, in the end, that good. From our Holy Pet Eggs, let's see what we get. Now, these are separate from the other guys. We can have one pet at act active at a time and one Holy Pet active at a time. This guy's going to be absolutely massive for farming. We want to make sure we have him active. Then there's the Zeus pet, which is going to be very situational when we're killing mobs, but a legendary is very good. I have almost $200,000 now. That's insane. Epic and ultimate airdrops. And then we've got four V-Kit clusters, which are going to give us some absolutely insane things. More spawners, that is five blaze, two silverfish, three iron golem, two holy pet eggs. Let's open these and see what they give us. Common Zeus pet. Ooh, we got a better Holy Charger pet. That is so awesome. Ho sorry, Holy Supercharge pet. Let's open up these two ultimate airdrops. Please give me something good. Please. Three Silverfish Spawner, six Spider, four Guardian, uh, three more pet eggs. What do you give us? Ooh, Book Finder pet is pretty good as well. Rare's not bad, but it's not quite what I wanted. Normal pet eggs, value tickets, storm keys, storm keys, blaze spawners, and three robot builders. Those are super awesome. Iron golem spawners, money, blaze spawners, keys. I have this kit unlocked. And you know, the worst part about it is they announced, at least for prisons, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same for Skyblock, they're doing away with V-Kits. That's right, V-Kits are gone. So this is utterly useless. Experience levels, pet egg, enderman spawners, rare chunk hopper, and an XP booster two times for 15 minutes. That's huge. I will say uh, something on a positive note, though, they, that they are looking into massive compensation for these V-Kits, which is going to be super awesome. Uh, I think it's a one-time thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm excited for that nonetheless. The new season is going to be absolutely crazy for Skyblock and for Prisons. Give me something good. Keys, Enderman Spawners, Blaze Spawners, Random Consumables, Storm Keys, and 32 Iron Golem Spawners. And we got a Mining Rage. Three Robot Builders. Now, I really want to get the good ones. What do I get? Come on. Grinding is not bad. I can set that up early which is great and then our next one give me something good i ideally like well there goes my i was gonna say one of each and i just instantly just instantly okay mining's actually pretty huge because i can set him up and he can do big things for me now the only thing is i didn't get an auto cell chest so i can't exactly make the biggest use of these guys currently but i will worry about that later I think now is the time to pause on my quest because I don't want to get any further in them. I don't want to deal with it right now. I want to go ahead and actually build out my island just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Um, I just don't even think I need more blocks. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of these. It's no longer going to be even as it is, but that's okay. I actually don't know how I want to set up my island. Do I want to fully shut it up right now? You know what? Yeah, why half-ass it when I can just fully set it up? This is a lot easier than I thought it was. Why haven't I done it this way, like, ever? Look how fast I built a platform. Oh, I love that. That actually looks really nice. What the hell? So I got my platform done. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's fantastic. I'm still gonna make it better eventually. So, what I want to do is I want to prioritize certain spawners. I don't want to worry about any of the, the, you know, certain ones. So, Iron Golem, absolutely. When I, why am I doing it like this? I can do it very simple. I'm going to start off by making it kind of as, as nice looking as I can, and then I'll just fill in the blanks. I, I, I changed my mind. This is, this is a lot. I don't want to sit here and slowly fill this in with lava. And now, essentially, all I have to do is put down spawners, and they will fall to their death. The only thing that I'm missing is a Chunk Hopper... Are you kidding me? The only thing I'm missing is an auto cell chest and a chunk hopper. So let me check the auction house and see. There are no auto cell chests. Right, I can't kill them by hand. I forgot about that. Some of them have to be automated. You can't kill them by hand because they want to nerf looting. There we go. We got a drop of each. The nether star from these guys sold for 640 and the sugar from those guys sells for 1300 and then what was it for the other one? 1,750. I actually don't really need to stack this too high, do I? Because I, I'm not going to be able to, um, I'm not going to be able to, to get many drops from this. Because this one's going to be, I'm just going to buy a stack of these two. I don't really care. Ooh, we got our keys. So every drop that's going to go in there will now go into that chest. So let me put these guys down. Oh, uh, this will all change once I get a, uh, an auto cell chest. What are the odds I get one? 
What are the what are the odds right now that I get an auto sell test? You know what? I kind of feel those odds. I'm just gonna put everything that I'm currently messing with in here. Okay, I do have an unlimited sell wand, so the good thing is I don't need to worry about these other sell wands. I reached my hopper limit. Uh, and I don't know how to increase it. What do I have to do? Place 10 common chunk hoppers. The problem is I used all of my common chunk hoppers. I guess I'm not setting these guys up currently because I don't have a way to do that because I ran out of that space and I didn't realize that that was the thing that I needed to do, but I will learn my lesson for next time. And now, if I'm not mistaken, my crops down here should be fully grown. Oh, but the water, or the, the light's gonna mess with them. So, let me chop some of these up. Of course, there is auto plant, which is super freaking awesome. Another one of my favorite features on the server, especially because they actually changed it to just be built in and you don't have to earn it anymore. You used to have to earn it, which was cool to a point, except you needed like 30,000 uh, farmed up stuff. Which, speaking of which, I do have to farm up a lot, though. Because if we do IS Mastery, you'll see that to get to potatoes, I need to farm up, um, actually only 2,500. Now, I did mention I was going to show you guys the best way to make money, and I'm probably going to utilize this, uh, in the future to make some money. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how. Number one, you can see this guy, he will slowly generate you. You can see already 38k, I literally just entered the world. 38k, and then you can also come here, and I think think you get gems and skills boost definitely skills boost so i'm gonna go ahead and activate this guy and we're gonna fish for a little bit so for that i made 1.27k for a simple striped bass um obviously as you level up it's gonna get better and as you level up your rod it's gonna get better as well currently i've got lore 3 turbo fishing 2 bait 2 and treasure hunter 2 all really good enchants all pretty decent levels from my kit that was a twenty-five thousand dollar fish by the way and i think they get even better i'm not 100 percent certain so far these are all common or not commons i think they're like rare fish maybe you can actually see the different rarities there there's blue purple slash pink uh orange uh, red and then green. I will show a lot more of that in a future video, but it is definitely worth coming here You make some really good money now There's obviously other worlds like the mining world and the logging world But for those you need a lot better tool It's a lot more apparent when you don't have a better tool I want to build a little bit of a platform here. No, this needed to be <sighs> I'm an idiot guys. I forgot because of the the design of it. I need to it needs to be a one by one hole or else the Enderman won't, or sorry, the, the Blazes won't know where to hit because sometimes they'll be on, like, this block or this block or this block. They won't always be on the same one. So I gotta undo, um, all of that. Son of a bitch. If you ever wonder why I don't build spawners on stream, this is why! I'm an idiot half the time! But that's okay, if you want a chance to not be an idiot, join the server. All the information down in the description, Akuma MC on top. It is the number one skyblock and prison server of 2024. Wait, I just realized I made a mistake though. Hold, please. Unlink chest, link chest. You need to be linked to this chest. The reason being is if that chest on the bottom fills, it won't start stacking into the next chest. We want it to actually stack into the next chest. Oh, I can just buy wheat? Oh, dude, I can just buy the wheat to sell it. Wouldn't that just be the biggest waste of money ever? So that gave me farming books and chicken spawners. So our next quest is to farm, or sorry, our next quest, not to farm, is to enchant, which I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this for that time, for the future. I could also go ahead and set up my mining robot, but because it just gives cobble, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. But I think this is the perfect place to call this episode of Akuma Skyblock. If you guys want some more, leave a like on it, subscribe for more. Make sure you comment down below, hashtag AkumaMC on top if you watch to this point. And I will uh, like all your comments, all the ones that say that. Join the server, all the information down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.